But it was so much more than a ride for this single dad. The 2006 Lincoln also paid his bills. A lot of luck, a lot of car, a job, income. Nance drives for Lyft, his last pickup near this Walgreens on 115th and Halstead just before Christmas. Three women piled in and chose this super save as their first stop. We got to the gas station and I get out, one of the passengers get out and go inside come back outside after paying for gas and my car was gone. 18 hours later, they had found my car. A lead from investigators. They blew a stop sign. They were involved in an accident with somebody else. Your car got totaled. Now his stolen and smashed source of income sits in the pound and Nance says he's stuck. Lyft had told me um, that they weren't going to be responsible for you know any of the damages that were done to my car. Towing and storage fees are adding up too. But I was under the impression that since I was on the clock, even though I have liability, I should be fully covered through Lyft. The rideshare companies do a really poor job of explaining the insurance implications to drivers. Attorney Bryant Greening represents Lyft and Uber drivers through his law firm, Legal Rideshare. He says Nance's saga is unfortunately common and that rideshare companies usually don't pay up unless a driver also has collision coverage. As this driver unfortunately found out, there are tons of intricacies and loopholes uh, that need to be told to the driver before they ever get behind the wheel. It was pretty much just I had the insurance. I got signed up. I was ready to go. They never broke down anything involving insurance policies or anything like that because I don't feel that it's fair that I have to pay out of pocket for everything.